In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a wireless PTZ transmitter. So you've got the transmitter sitting right there, and this wire here, I've pre-inserted them for convenience to demonstrate that this is where the RS-485 goes in. If you look at it closely, it has a plus and minus there, and that's for the PTZ analog, PTZ data control. So your these PTZ controllers or wireless transmitters work only with analog PTZs meaning they need to have RS-485, no RS-232, all RS-485. That's what it says hidden here on the description of the connector right there. If you're using some other type of PTZ that not, it doesn't support RS-485 or it's a HD over coax PTZ, you need to ensure you're using the proper type of PTZ and we do our compatibility checks before we ship them. So let me show you how to set them up. As long as you have a compatible PTZ con controller, what you do is the transmitter goes at the PTZ you connect your antenna here. This is a 5 dBi antenna, and you can even remove the antenna here and put in a antenna cable and a high gain panel antenna if needed for longer distance of transmission. These are indoor units, so they need to be housed inside of an enclosure. Connections here are very simple. They come with 12 volt DC power supplies. That's where the 12 volt DC power supply plugs in. This is where your RS-485 positive and negative come in. I've wired this so that the stripe wire is positive and the solid wire is negative. This is just um, taken from a Cat5e. Uh, you should use Cat5e to connect the RS-485 because it act actually properly locks into place into these push-in connectors. There is audio here, we're not using that. And since this is a video only PTZ, the BNC video comes in here from the camera. So you have a BNC patch cable coming from the camera into the transmitter. So you've got BNC for video, data, RS-485 for controlling the PTZ, and then power here to 12 volt DC to power the transmitter. On the receiving end, very similar, you have BNC video patch cable going to your DVR or monitor. Again, analog resolution. You've got a RS-485 cable that plugs into your controller or into your DVR if you have this connected to a DVR. And then a 12 volt DC power supply. Now, to show you an example, I have my transmitter and receiver sitting about a uh, foot and a half or two away from each other. And I've got video from my transmit, my camera right there. I'm just putting my hand in front. It's pretty much real time. There's about a millisecond lag. Now what happens is if you're the distance between the transmitter and receiver uh, increases, your video lag will increase as well. And, or if you have a weak signal, the um, video transmission is gonna be poor. And you'll see that in terms of lag in turn when uh, something happens in real life and when you see it on the monitor, that's one way. Or even when you call the PTZ and you try to move it, it'll take it a significant amount of time to move. So that's why you wanna make sure you have clear line of sight, no obstructions in between the signal path of the transmitter and receiver. And the transmitter and receiver should be either uh, placed in a NEMA enclosure box or uh, that's a plastic box, by the way, no metal, or you're using high gain panel antennas uh, to amplify the signal. If you do have weak signals using the existing antennas or you're transmitting only through glass. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.